and I would literally come up to my cell every night after a full day of Divine Office Mass chores I think one one night in my journal I'd written that I'd done 15 jobs in one day and um, still when we finished we finished Compline and got back up to our rooms at quarter to ten at night I'd still be raring to go for the next day and I'd be, I said to the prioress the following morning um, I'm not tired <laughs> because it's expected when you have such a long a long day we would get about half past five and pray at six o'clock and then have an hour's prayer and then pray again at half past seven in the chapel. Then you have a few minutes just to switch books over, go to mass and then after mass work starts at nine and then you would work for a couple of hours. Then we would pray again at half past eleven, have the Angelus and then lunch and then some free time um, usually. In that time some of the sisters would sleep so we had like siesta at one and then um, after that, we had another another prayer um, known in the chapel, um, and then you would work again, and spiritual reading, and then vespers at half past four, and then another hour's prayer, five till six, then supper, then recreation, and by that time, everybody's kind of like, ah, oh, okay, <laughs> ready to relax. So we had great fun. We used to play board games, cards, um, chatting. Um, knitting and uh, yeah it's, it was amazing and then I think after that we had the office of readings at quarter to eight and that was half an hour and then you had another bit of free time so we have showers reading and then get ready for Compline and then that finished at quarter to ten so it was a really really loaded day you know um, lots going on and very very structured Obviously, I mean, you're looking at your watch by the second hand um, and uh, kind of just, it's amazing because how it was so structured, yet there was such a massive freedom within such a rigid structure because you have to do one thing to the next and to the next and to the next thing. It's, it gives you the opposite effect of what you actually think it would do. You would think, oh crikey, I'm watching the clock again, you know, and I'm busy, and I, but it, you actually find that because you're silent most of the time, except for the sun prayer um, in the chapel, you have a great awareness within, you have this, this amazing space. And that for me, because I did a two week, two week living with the Carmelites, that for me was enough time just to settle into that into that incredible rhythm and feel feel just how free free I was and and you're certainly more aware of God because there isn't you don't you don't have any distraction.